regular board meeting of the Pearl River County School District held May 14, 2020, and 5.30 p.m. I'd like to give, ask the invocation be given by Mr. Frazier, who will be using the prayer please. Let us bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we come at this moment giving you all praise, glory, and honor. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for this day. We ask that you will be amongst us, Heavenly Father, that we take up the business of the school district. We come right now asking you to watch over us as a, as a board, and also watch over us as a country, Heavenly Father, as we go through these significant issues. We ask you to bless our children, Heavenly Father, as they continue to deal with this unusual school year, Heavenly Father. Bless them and guide them as they go into the different endeavors. And as we deliberate tonight, Heavenly Father, we ask you to be amongst us, Heavenly Father, and just impart your wisdom on us, Heavenly Father, so that everything we do is about doing the best thing for this school district and for this community, Heavenly Father. We give you praise, glory, and honor right now. We lean in and depend on you. And we ask you right now just to touch our hearts, Heavenly Father, so we can come together, Heavenly Father, as Christian brothers and sisters. But of all things, we give praise and glory and honor to your son who died on the cross, because it's through him all things are possible. We love you, and we give you this honor. In his name we pray. Amen. Mr. Jones, uh, Colonel Ryder uh, has some special guests that will be leading us in our Pledge of Allegiance tonight. So I'll ask Ms. Poulsen at this time if she could bring up Colonel Ryder. In the background for the shot, we're, we're starting right now. Good evening, y'all. Can you hear me okay? Is the audio good? Can't hear you now. Colonel Rod, are you there? Colonel Rod, are you with us? Okay. School board members, it's a great honor to be with you tonight. You. Thank you for this privilege. It's my my privilege to introduce Johnny Perkins, a junior, who will lead us in the pledge. Good evening, my fellow Americans. Thank you for this high privilege of being here to represent the PRC community. Please join me in the pledge. Ready? Salute. Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. In God we trust. Thank you and God bless. No, no. Well, he just happened to capture the image. Right. Don't go back. Okay, we'll proceed on. <clears throat> public comments, item three. There are no public comments. We'll move to consider the agenda, item four. We do have some changes presented by Ms. Ms. Sherry, excuse me. We're going to move item 12 to number 14 and line item 13 to line item 15. And that will make line item 12 read consider approving to transfer four mobile classroom units to Hazelhurst School District at no cost to Pearl River County School District. And then line item 13. Consider approving the construction agreement with Colony Construction for the South Carrier Campus Project. So please make note of those changes. Yeah, the question is, is that the thing we just got in the email? Was that the country? Yes. Yes. Is that time sensitive? Sir? Is it time sensitive? Because we just had a chance to look at it. Yes, sir. It is time sensitive. Uh, you can table it if you'd like, but it's going to table construction beginning for the amount of time that you do table it. Uh, we do have Mr. Warren that can answer any questions. Uh, Mr. Keith, our attorney, is involved in those uh, contracts as well, so he reviews all of them. So, But that's entirely up to the board. So that's the contract for the construction of the multiple purpose? That is correct. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can discuss it here. Okay. Any other corrections or additions to the agenda? All in favor of the agenda as modified, let it know by saying aye. 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 We have a motion and a second. We have a motion and a second? We don't have a motion and a second. It's 
been a while. Motion in a second. Do I have a motion to adopt? Motion. It's been a while. Do I have a second? I'll second. Thank you, Mr. Harry. Thank you, Ms. Burge, for the second. Now. Sorry about that. No, thank you. All in favor, let it be known to say aye. 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 Anyone opposed, same sign. Motion carries unanimously. Moving on to consider approving the board minutes for April the 16th as recorded. I make a motion that we consider approving the board minutes for April 16th, 2020 as recorded. Thank you, Mr. Frazier, for the motion. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Mr. Harry. Any questions or discussions on the minutes? I'll call for a vote then. All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed, same sign. Motion carries unanimously. Item six, superintendent's report. Mr. Lumpkin. Thank you, Mr. Jones. We'd like to welcome everyone to our May board meeting. Uh, thank you for being patient through our uh, technical difficulties with our YouTube live. Um, hopefully this is gonna be a better format for our community to, to view our board meetings in the future. We're real excited about this uh, resource that will be available to our community uh, this month and in the future. Um, our student school board representative, Ms. Patricia Bola, due to uh, the pandemic, she's not gonna be with us uh, tonight, uh, but we'll try to get her back. This is the last month of the year, and I know we want to recognize her properly, so we will definitely do that uh, when we get back to some normalcy here with our board meetings. So uh, we look forward to recognizing Patricia and sending her off with the proper farewell. <clears throat> the written reports, you have your monthly financial uh, written reports there. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to shoot us an email and uh, we will answer those questions accordingly. Uh, at this time, we have a construction update that I'm gonna ask Mr. Warren Bowman uh, to give us a lot of information this month on our bond construction. And Ms. Poulsen is going to be pulling up Mr. Bowman. Mr. Bowman, can you hear us? I can. I'm right here with you. Awesome. <laughs> well, the floor is yours. Well, I'm going to try to take the floor, I guess. Is that, you got see me there? Okay. Well, certainly good evening to everyone. Um, just want to make sure that you guys are up to date on everything I have going, we have going on. Um, it, I'll start off with the, uh, with, the, with the PRC Elementary Campus. The AB building uh, the slab is uh, has been poured, and the electrical is ongoing. The red iron has been erected, and uh, uh, the purlins installed. That's good. The CMU uh, installation has begun, and uh, in the sped classrooms. Um, uh, this is as far as we've gotten on the particular A building, which is a real lot. That means that the structural system is basically put together, which is really good. Uh, the BC building, the BC building, uh, uh, the pre-engineered metal building is complete, which is good. The CMU blocks, walls are being completed, and the roof system is about 60% complete on that one as well. The rough bed plumbing and electrical has been completed. The area of the building that has, uh, uh, in the area that has roof covering. So the prime and the HVAC is installed in the ceiling system. So it's moving on fairly strong. Um, uh, uh, the conditioning unit pads uh, have been have been poured, and the stoops on the rear building have been poured as well. Uh, on the AKA and the cafeteria building, uh, the roof system has been completed. <laughs> units, this units uh, uh, have been installed. All the walls have been primed, and the handicap railing system uh, is being installed uh, at, at all stairs at all stairs and ramps. Uh, the electrical wire is being pulled throughout the building. Of course, you know, the conduit was in place before they started, so they're literally pulling wire now. The freezer has been wired, but not uh, but not engaged just yet. The stairs and the handicap ramps at the front of the entry have been pulled, um, but no safety railing installed at this particular point. Uh, the retainer wall at the cafeteria has been formed and poured and brick, and uh, brick veneer is complete. On the uh, PRC Middle School, getting to the other campus, uh, the middle school sent complete. That's the final grading and um, and some of the floor covering uh, in the media and library area. Uh, and the 
and the punch out list. So we move it on pretty good with the middle school. Um, uh, you know, we we'll send someone over to approve the pattern on the floor covering, which TJ, we appreciate that. Uh, the, the floor guys in the area, and we're starting tomorrow morning on the 15th. Um, they propose to be finished around uh, on, on, on that same day, as, on the same date as well. Uh, the cops in the, in the media library area um, has been modified per the librarian request. Uh, the camera has to be lowered so the librarian can see over the top of it. <laughs> so that's not a problem, though. Uh, the one that came in Tuesday and are now installed in the glass is uh, installed on Friday, uh, the 15th. The high school campus, uh, the pre engineered metal building is complete and the roof is dried in. That's a good thing, especially during uh, this season. The CMU block, the concrete block are, um, are complete. The uh, stone on the exterior is complete, is, is complete, and the brick veneer has been uh, has been completed on the east and west side of the building. The brick veneer on the north and north side of the building uh, installation, has, uh, has, it began on, on today. Uh, rough in on the plumbing and electrical are complete. All the walls, prime and door frames painted. Uh, the air handling uh, units have been installed in the classrooms and the plenums are being installed today. Uh, lines are being, being ran and all uh, in the wrapping for the HVAC is about complete. Uh, the plumbing has also begun. The wiring is being pulled, the electrical panel to our rooms and cleanup on the campus is ongoing. And that's in general for both campuses as, as uh, uh, what we have. Thank you, Mr. Warren. Uh, as you can see, uh, school board members, there's a lot of construction that's been completed over the last month on the uh, McNeil campus, as well as the Carrier campus at the middle school and the high school. And uh, we're looking forward to getting that third and final phase uh, in place as we move forward uh, this month. So uh, without further ado, uh, any questions for Mr. Warren on construction updates? Yeah, just, do you have any idea in terms of when we might see the completion of these projects so we may have a little accelerated schedule? Yes, sir. Let me give you some dates that we have right now uh, that are in line with what our um, contractors and I and we have all discussed. On the elementary, and the dates, get, the dates vary now. So on the elementary campus, the A and B building, we expect in July, uh, around July, the end of July, July 31st, 2020, what, what they're estimating on that time. But the BC building around June the 7th, uh, the A building, cafeteria and AK building around June the 4th of 2020. The middle school, uh, uh, the middle school is, is, is on May the 25th of 2020. Uh, the high school around July 28th, 2020. And the F building around July 1 of 2020. And Mr. Lampard, I, can build, I can forward those dates and times to you. Or tomorrow. Go back to the uh, Mr. Warren, go back to the middle school building. Did you say May 20 building on that building? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. And this is the reason why uh, they are actually they are actually uh doing the punch the uh, punch list on, on the 25th right now. We we at the punch list. Uh, even though we got a couple other small things to do, we are actually working on the punch list on the middle school as we speak. Right. That's the middle school building, that's the one that's going to the closest yes, sir. I toured it today, as, as a matter of fact. It's what about that high school building, the one toward the front of the road? The high school building towards the front of Highway 11, what was the date on it? It was The July. high school building date is July 28th of 2020. Okay. Yes, sir. So that's all of them before the start of school next year? Yes, sir. That is yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, thank you, Mr. Warren. Any other questions for Mr. Bowen? All right, he will remain on the line for us, Mr. Bowen, because we have some uh, bond construction items to consider for approval. So uh, we'll say goodbye for just a second. Stay on the uh, meeting because we'll be yes, going back to. All right, you got it. All right, we have no recognitions this month, Mr. Jones. Uh, the district improvement plan data report. We do not have a report due to our school closure again this month. Um, announcements and uh, upcoming activities. 
the governor, Tate Reeves, did extend the safer at home order. He extended that through May 25th with social distancing guidelines. So all our school district offices, we are open now um, from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. And uh, we, we are using social distancing guidelines for those two hours. But we are available, of course, 24 seven through email and phone calls. Our community and parents can leave messages and we call them back during those two hours um, each day, Monday through Friday. Uh, distance learning uh, will continue through the end of the school year. And that is upon us. That's next Friday, May 22nd, will be our last regular scheduled day of school. But um, so our distance learning will continue. That's our online virtual format through Google Classroom and also our instructional packets uh, for students who do not have Internet access. Our second round, which was the second portion, the last four weeks of the school year, those instructional packets were available beginning on April 22nd. That takes those students through the end of the school year. OK, we will have a summer distance learning program that will be available to our parents as well. And we will do it the same way. It will be another four weeks of instructional material through online version through Google Classroom, as well as another four weeks of instructional packets that they can pick up at the school as well for our parents to take advantage of for the students over the summer months. They'll have four weeks of work that they can do at any point in time through those two months over the summer. And that will be available very, very soon for our parents. Our student feeding program uh, continues through the end of the school year, which uh, it'll conclude next week. We've been feeding Tuesdays and Thursdays at three locations. And that will conclude next Thursday will be our last day of the student feeding program. And that's Thursday, May the 21st. Uh, we'll tell you that we uh, our numbers have been decreasing on the amount of people that's been coming through at a tremendous amount in the beginning. And it is just slowly declined. We still are serving lunches. We still have people taking advantage. But I do want to inform you that it has that number has declined, especially over the last two weeks. Um, I do want to give you some information, uh, and I'm going to let Dr. Bowen, our high school principal, talk to you about some upcoming events for our seniors. Uh, we're really excited about that, as you know, uh, with the Safer at Home order extended through May 20, 25th, then, of course, we will not be having our regular uh, graduation ceremony that was scheduled for May the 22nd. Uh, we're still committed. Our students want a traditional graduation ceremony, so we're committed to making that happen. And as soon as we're allowed to gather with a large assembly, we will set that date and we will set it in plenty of time for those seniors to get the information out and make plans to attend that and their family members to attend as well. Uh, but we'll set that date once uh, we have been instructed that we're safe to, to gather in large assemblies. But Dr. Bowen has some exciting news about what's going to be happening next Friday. Typically our seniors uh, walk through, we do a parade and they go through the hallways in their cap and gowns uh, to the applause of all the students and the teachers, but that's not available this year, is it Dr. Bowen? So what have y'all have planned for our seniors? Thank you, Mr. Lumpkin. Hello, Mr. Jones and uh, school board members. Thank you for letting me talk today. We are gonna have, um, we're, we're gonna celebrate the class of 2020 with a vehicle gra senior graduation parade. So it's gonna be in the vehicle and it's gonna be on Friday, May 22nd. It will begin at seven o'clock. And that is when um, our, our graduation was originally planned. Um, we will start at the elementary school and then we will go through Highway 11 and go through the middle school and then into the high school. And we'll use this time not only to celebrate our seniors and we're asking to decorate their vehicles and um, parents to decorate their vehicles also, um, but we'll use this, town, this time to distribute caps and gowns, um, scholarships, stoles, awards, cords, um, yearbooks, and any anything else that we have for our seniors. Um, we are excited. I know our seniors are excited. 
we want to do something for them. Um, we miss them so much, and we know that this is not the ideal senior year. So um, this is just one of those things that we can do, and, and we invite y'all to come out and and um, and support our seniors and celebrate with us as we celebrate them. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Bowman. Just to clarify, Dr. Bowman, uh, that parade will start on the elementary campus in McNeil, is that correct? Yes, it will start on the elementary campus and then it will go um, on Highway 11 and it will come in to our campus on the north entrance and then go around the high school and then um, it, it will end on the south entrance of the high school. Awesome. Thank you for that information, Dr. Bowman. Just want to encourage everyone uh, to come out and um, you know find you a parking place along that route. And toot your horn, wave at our seniors, holler, scream uh, from a social distance, and whatever you would like to do. Uh, I know our seniors will really, really appreciate that. And Dr. Bowman will have a great assembly line set up once they get to the high school because our seniors are excited about picking up those caps and gowns and other things uh, because. You really uh, not graduated until you get a cap and gown, right? So I uh, know they're excited about that. So Dr. Bowman, thank you and your graduation committee uh, for putting this together. I know it's going to be a fun time for our seniors. And hey, you never know, this might start a tradition uh, as we move forward. Uh, I'm excited about that. So thank you so much. And uh, again, we'll be getting more information out on our gra traditional graduation ceremony as soon as our state agencies allow us to gather in large groups. Thank you, Dr. Bowman. Mr. Jones, I will conclude the superintendent report uh, with our Blue Devil Code. Uh, fourth quarter is perseverance, is our character trait. And our quote this week uh, for the school district was uh, quoted by Zig Ziglar. Zig Ziglar stated, when obstacles arise, you change your direction to reach your goal you do not change your decision to get there. And I just think that says a lot about what our Blue Devil family has accomplished uh, during this pandemic. Uh, our parents, our teachers, our students, our Blue Devil family, we have not changed any of our educational goals. We just had to change the direction of how we are going to achieve those goals during this pandemic. So I'm just super proud of all of our Blue Devil stakeholders I love them and I appreciate their perseverance during this pandemic. And that will conclude our superintendent report. Thank you, Mr. Lumpkin. Thank you for your leadership. Uh, you've been stepping outside the box a lot. <laughs> you have to. So we appreciate it. And all of our administration is doing the same thing. Yes. Okay, moving on to item seven. Consider approving the following financial items. And if it's okay with the board, we'll choose A through S. Do I have a motion? I'll make a motion to consider approving the following financial items, A through S. Thank you, Ms. Burge. Second motion. Thank you, Mr. Frazier, for the second. Any discussion? Okay, no discussion. I'll ask for a vote. All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Any opposed, same sign. That motion carries unanimously. Item eight, bond issue. Do I have a motion to consider approving to pay Wharton Smith pay application number 15? I make a motion to consider approving to pay Wharton Smith pay application number 15. Thank you for the second. And thank you, Ms. Burge, for the second. Any discussion? Questions? I like the fact that they still all right. Are they right? Yes, it's all right. <laughs> One more second. No. It's good. Okay. All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Same sign. Motion carries unanimously. Item 8B, consider approving to pay J Band Company pay application number 12. Do I have a motion? I'll make a motion. Thank you, Mr. Harry. I'll second. Thank you, Ms. Burge, for the second. Any discussion? Questions? All in favor, let it be known to say aye. 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 Any opposed, same sign. Motion carries unanimously. 
consent agenda. Item number nine. A through I, isn't it? Yes. A through I. Do I have a motion? I'll make a motion. Thank you. Do I have a second? For the second. Consent? Thank you, Mr. Harry. All in favor of the consent agenda A through I, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Out of 10, policies. We'll do 10A, consider approving the updates to school board policy section D, fiscal management. Do I have a motion? I'll make a motion. Thank you, Ms. Burge. Second. Thank you, Mr. Frazier, for the second. Any discussion? All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Any opposed, same sign? Motion carries unanimously. Item 10B, consider rescinding policy DGBA non-sufficient funds check collection. Do I have a motion? Make a motion to consider rescinding policy DGBA non-sufficient check collection. Thank you, Mr. Frazier, for the motion. I'll second. Thank you, Ms. Burge, for the second. Any discussion? All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Any opposed, same sign. Motion carries unanimously. <clears throat> Item 11, consider approving the resignation of Dr. Do you want to do it? Ooh, that's going to be tough. I need to recuse myself during this one, and I'll pass it to the secretary, which would be Mr. Frazier. <laughs> yes. So you got this one. That's resignation, so it should be all right, but anyway, take it. So item number 11, do we have a motion? I'll make a motion. Ms. Burge? Second. There's been a motion and second that we consider approving the resignation of Ms. Rebecca Estridge. She's the PRC and Middle School Student Services Coordinator. Uh, any discussion? No discussion. All opposed? All in favor? Aye. Uh, aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. There's no discussion. Motion passed. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Consider approving to transfer four mobile classroom units to Hazelhurst School District at no cost to Portland County School District. I'll make a motion. Thank you, Ms. Burke. Second. Second. Thank you, Mr. Frazier, for the second. Are there any questions or discussion? I was just curious as to how I could come up about the donation. Was it put out as it was? Uh, Mr. Warren, uh, or could you bring up Mr. Warren Bowling? In the past, when we have Get these trailers removed. You've had to pay someone yeah. to remove I remember them. Something about and, that. Uh, but uh, Mr. Bowen, can you talk about the trailers that are being moved to Hazelhurst Hurst School District and how that come about? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you for allowing me to speak on that. You know, um, you know, to move to move trailers almost as much as it costs to put up install them. And so, not only you have to pay for that, but you have to also find a place to dispose of them. Um, I've done so many projects with school districts that you know some school districts, some school districts are a whole lot fortunate uh, than others, and some need help. And so I, I saw a situation in Hazelhurst where they need a classroom space really bad, but really could not afford to build them. And I looked at our situation and said, you know, that may be a good idea to keep us from spending money, spending money, and also keep them in, in. Um, Within some school district in the school in in the state, and so some time ago, I um, um I got with TJ about it, and uh, we talked a little bit about it, and it turned out that they would, you know, I asked and I offered to see if they would be interested. They said yes, and so that's how we got where we are now. Just really trying to 
help another school district at the end of the day uh, you know, to help educate their kids at the same time. That's that's how we got there, sir. Thank you, Mr. Bowen. So this is a win-win situation for them as well as us because we will not have to pay to have those removed, correct? That's correct. Okay. Of course, so uh, if those buildings were not going to the Hayser City Student District, we were going to have to dis dispose of them, demolish them? Is that what the yep. Yeah. Pay, you, got, you, got, you had to pay to move them and pay, to, pay to, 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 uh, uh, to, to demolish them. That's correct. And, and, I'm, and am I correct in saying that we did put that in the newspaper trying to get bids on to begin with? We didn't receive any bids? Mr. Burleson, are you available on this? I don't want to speak out. We have advertised in the past yeah, for so mobile homes for bids, and we have and not received have bids. Not. Uh, Mr. Burleson, have you been following the conversation and can you speak in reference to that? Yes, we uh, we did not receive any bids for the, the trailers before and I don't expect to receive bids for trailers. You know, and if we if we're able to to get um, get them off our property at no cost to us, that that's a win. That's a win. All right. Thank you, Mr. Burleson. The, the other thing we got to remember is that you guys are in a zone now, in a wind zone that uh, in actuality, uh, portable classrooms uh, are not allowed. The wind load is too high. And so at, at, at some point, um, even if someone wanted, on that end warned them by law, code, they wouldn't be able to install them because of the wind loads. Further questions? A call for a vote. All in favor, let me know by saying aye. 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 Any opposed, same sign. Motion carries unanimously. Item 13, consider approving the construction agreement with Colony Construction for the South Carrier Campus Project. Do I have a motion? I'll make a motion. Thank you, Ms. Burge, for the motion. Is there a second? I'll second. Thank you, Mr. Heron, for the second. I open the floor for questions. I'm working on the floor, Mr. Burke. I think he might have stepped away. I actually have a question. Um, because we kind of received um, the details of this kind of at last minute, and I wasn't able to go through it, um, Mr. Warren, could you kind of give us a gist of exactly what we're looking at here? Yes, yes, ma'am, I would love to. What, what what we have is a contract that that is open uh, to allow us to decrease it as we go along. Uh, what we agreed to is at this particular point is that if we can reduce it by at about $200,000, it will get us in the place where we need to be as a school district. And so I got with Colony Construction to ensure that, uh, that, that that door was open. I got with the legal side to make sure that that door was open. And in, in, in addition to that, we also covered the, the, uh, the potential cost increase that may, that may uh, uh, come out of this, 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 uh, this uh, pandemic that we're dealing with. And so all those items have been addressed and the door is open for us to negotiate. And we have, it, we have uh, certainly more than $200,000 that we can actually uh, decrease this, this project with. But I wanted to make sure I left it open because we may find more. What we cannot do is go to go beyond 10%. The, the state procurement laws will not allow us to reduce that contract uh, by, uh, by more than 10%. And so uh, uh, this allows us to at least start getting dirt moved while the season is getting right for it, while we agree to go on and uh, reduce, you know, work to reduce those costs. And I'll give you one example of how we reduce costs. Of that, of that contract, a large, that well, the 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 alternate number one is an is an expensive alternate, but it is driven by parking lots more than it is anything. It turns out that asphalt has decreased in price significantly, and on top of that, as a school, we can buy it by state contract. By buying it by way of state contract, the product itself, it it keeps uh, it keeps any contractor or subcontractor from marking it up before we get it. And so they 
they have agreed to work with us on that. So we'll look at home savings on that where we get a chance to buy the asphalt direct and yet they're still responsible for, for installing and, and you know and making sure it's right. But trying to make sure we take every opportunity to save every penny that we can. And that's the whole gist of that contract. I will say that our attorneys uh, from uh, Adams and Reese have done a fantastic job protecting us as it relates to uh, this, this pandemic that we're going through. Uh, and, and, and the reason for that is because right now, prices are fluctuating all over the place. Nobody knows who's going to go to work or what's going to stop here or if it's going to be for long. So they were just absolutely brilliant in putting together some uh, um, um, some language that protects our school district as a whole. And so I take my hat off to them. So and that's basically it. Thank you, Mr. Warren. I do want to emphasize to our school board members, Adams and Reese, that's Jim Key's firm. They worked with our architects and Mr. Bow. We had concerns. We wanted to be protected in this contract through the pandemic. So we didn't want to see due to the pandemic that uh, construction prices rise or delays and things of that nature. So they worked very closely with the architects and Mr. Bowen to protect us. And uh, so our attorney, Mr. Keith, his firm has reviewed this contract and they are comfortable presenting this contract uh, to you this evening. Um, also, uh, he mentioned it also gives us the opportunity to reduce uh, as we go through this project as well on those parking lines because as you know, if you have filled up your car lately, gas prices have greatly reduced. So it gives us that opportunity when that comes. And that's what he was talking about through state contracts and purchasing the asphalt. We have maneuverability within that contract to reduce some things that we're ordering through uh, the contractor themselves. So it's, uh, it's, they've done a lot of work on this and um, I'm very pleased with the product, the contract that we have received and Jim Keith is as well. And is that why this is time sensitive is because we're trying to get those savings while we can? Not so much savings, just to get the project started. Okay. Um, you know, of course the project can't start until the contract is approved. And the reason it took so long is because of the concern that we have. We wanted to dot every I and cross every T and protect ourselves. So we sent this through our attorneys to Basically, they had to kind of negotiate. There were some things that they wanted and we wanted, so they had to negotiate back and forth, and that took a little bit longer. And uh, so uh, we, we actually, uh, the architect delivered this at 420 today, and we scanned it and got it to you. Uh, you know, but uh, your attorney, again, your attorney has looked through it. Actually, they were involved in the negotiations and drawing up of this contract. So the only time sensitive issue is we can't start till it's approved. So if you table it to next month, then that's, we're gonna have to wait till next month. It will delay at that time. That's that's the only time sensitive issue. So if we uh, decide to approve and go forward with this contract, how soon are they prepared to actually start construction? I'll refer to Mr. Warren on that. If you had conversations with Colony, if we approve the contract tonight, when could they start work? I, I would think that, you know, of all everything that has to be reviewed and set up, within a couple of weeks, we can get things started. Uh, you know, you have to go in and do, you know, get your your, 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 your office set up and get people mobilized and, and all of that. So I would think in a couple of weeks, we, we may have boots on the ground. And that's pretty quick. And um, my talks for Colony, it, it, it's been just a pleasant, opportunity to work with them you know if if their product is as half as good as they have been in working with we're going to get an excellent project so you know about two weeks i would think now i will i will after after since it's approved tonight i will make that call to steven in the morning steven is my contact with uh with the uh, construction firm and i will make uh contact with him in the morning and let them know it. Well, hey, it's time to rock and roll. How quick can you be on site? And I'll get that information back to TJ immediately. And he can let you guys know an exact date, if that's okay with you. Okay, so if you're saying you estimate that we'd be able to have boots on the ground somewhere around two weeks, but they'll be prepared in the morning to start doing the preliminary, getting the stuff ready. Well, they, 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 
they they are already a few steps ahead of us. They've done quite a bit of the things that they was they, that they would normally do after the contract signed. So you know they're acting in good faith on on you know they've acted in good faith and going and getting ahead of and getting ready for this this approval. So um, yes, sir, there are a lot of things we will not have to wait for that we typically have to wait for. They they are ready to rock and roll. Uh, and Stephen and I talk pretty consistently, but 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 uh, to be to be firm about it, tomorrow morning I will call them, let them know it's been cleared. Contract should be submitted to them within a day or so, and give me a date um, a date a date that you're going to mobilize, and I'll get that time directly to uh, TJ, so you have an exact date. A moment ago. Um, I have one more question. Um, I assume that the cost of this contract can you hear me okay with my mask on yes ma'am okay um as far as the contract price are we still working within the perimeters of what the board has already approved yes financially? okay yes and we're just trying to okay. get it under that because that's what we we just know we can so we, we me and tj and, and the uh and the superintendent we want y'all to be like okay y'all did a great job on that one. that's what i wanted to be for sure so. awesome job thank you very much yes ma'am any other questions? Then I'll call for a vote. All in favor? Let's let it. Did we get the motion in a second? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. yeah. Do we want to do an individual on this? Bond? And that's how we can pass. Yes. Okay. All in favor of item 13? Let it be known by saying aye. 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 Any opposed, same sign. Motion carries unanimously. Uh, I ask for a motion to go into closed session to discuss uh, going into executive session for a student matter. I'll make a motion to go into executive session. Closed. Closed. Closed session. Okay. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Mr. Herring. All in favor of going into closed session, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Any opposed, same sign. Motion carries unanimously. We are now in a closed session. Welcome back. Um, there was no action taken during the executive session. We're now back in open session. There are two, the one item left, and that's the board information. It's just the information about the calendar, the board calendar, the district calendar. Does any of the board members have any questions concerning the yeah. information? Yeah, I, I guess it's really not just information about the calendar. I think I want to understand well, is there anything that the board needs to take action on from a time sensitive basis that it needs to be added to the calendar as a reminder of us? Is that the that's a calendar? I think that's what she said, man. Yeah, the intent was if there's something that the board needs to do on that, it, it, it would be put on that calendar. If we discover something, Looking at our policy, and says it needs to be done at a certain time, then it could be added to that calendar. Then that's my understanding. Okay, that's great. Any other questions? Okay, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Thank you, Ms. Burke. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Mr. Blake. All in favor, let me know to say aye. Aye. Any opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Thank you for joining us.